Ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest, says Jesus to his disciples. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we come to this time, this place, we open up our minds and our hearts to call the presence of God to us and to call to mind our sins and our failings, our need for him, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed to provide shepherds for your people, pour out in your church a spirit of piety and fortitude to raise up worthy ministers for your altars and make them ardent yet gentle heralds of your gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxurious vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed. The sin of Israel, thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. So for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he was brought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples 
and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, <clears throat> James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> so one of the uh, interesting aspects of priestly life that I've gotten used to over this uh, past year, especially has been uh, wearing clerical shirts and uh, kind of uh, priestly, uh, priestly garb. And when you're kind of going out and about in the world, it really does help you to uh, stand out uh, from everyone uh, in, a, in a real sense. And sometimes uh, it, it gets a whole lot of reactions, you know, kind of uh, either way uh, on just looking uh, as a priest. Sometimes uh, people will want to come and sit and just talk with you and they have a big smile on their face. And other times uh, they don't have so much uh, a big smile. And they might have some, some choice words and want to have a, a different kind of a conversation. A whole host of reactions. And like it or not, this is kind of what helps a priest uh, to kind of stand out uh, in the middle of the world uh, where he is. It's so one of the aspects I didn't particularly um, anticipate or want to enjoy uh, before priesthood and the very early uh, years of seminary. Uh, but I think it's something I've really come to uh, embrace uh, and love that have uh, kind of stepped into, uh, stepped into priestly life. I think one of the reasons uh, that I enjoy it is that, and whoever is encountering a priest, whether it's said or uh, unsaid, known or unknown, they are reminded that the kingdom of God is at hand. No matter their relationship with the church, no matter what belief system they have, they're reminded of heaven, of hell, of judgment, of mercy. And sometimes it's an opportunity for a conversation uh, with someone. But many times I think it's a witness uh, that has kind of an unregistered impact. You never really necessarily know about how it just changed a person day, person's day of how they saw a priest walking in giant eagle uh, or, or whichever. Priests embody Christ's presence in a unique and a necessary way uh, in the world. And it's a witness you know, we really can't lose. At the same time, Every Christian's life is meant to be this same reminder to others that life is not about us, that death is certain, that God is with us, that as Jesus tells us to do, to proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Every Christian, like a priest, is set apart by Christ to be someone different, to be his witness in the world and to help bring about his kingdom. So today, may we pray for priests and their unique and necessary witness uh, in the world, one that is post-Christian in many sense, one that is either uh, increasingly apathetic or hostile to the Christian message. Let's pray for young men to embrace uh, a priestly uh, witness and vocation in their lives. And may we ask God for the strength to be his otherworldly witnesses in the world.
And now we bring our needs and our petitions before our Heavenly Father. For the clergy, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they shepherd the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For government leaders around the world, may God grant them fortitude and patience in promoting and defending religious freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those suffering from the effects of natural disasters, may God bring them comfort and care. Let us pray to the Lord. For strength for young men to respond to a call to Jesus to enter the priestly life and vocation to be shepherds of our community, let us pray to the Lord. For all who have recently died in the light of Christ, may they be rewarded with the glory of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all the personal intentions we hold in our hearts and bring to this Mass. And for Marcella Wessendorf, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you know us and you love us. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers and petitions, to be in accord with your will and be in your time. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly, we pray, O Lord, on the prayers and offerings of your people, that the stewards of your mysteries may grow in number and persevere always in your love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is thee who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. some more way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, press your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
by this, we came to know the love of God, that Christ laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers.
Let us pray. Renewed with the bread of the heavenly table, we entreat you, O Lord, that through the sacrament of charity, the seeds you sow with great abundance in the field of your church may come to maturity so that many may make it their choice in life to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.